everybody, it's John and Heather from our HodgePodge Homestead. I guess we can kind of say we're back. It's our re reboot. <laughs> yep. We, uh, as a lot of you know, back in October, we put our house on the market, we sold our house in October, and uh, we moved into a camper that we'd purchased for, for camping, but it's going to become our home. I uh, retired in January from the U.S. Postal Service, and uh, February we hit the road. Then in February we hit the road. <laughs> And um, we traveled down through Kentucky and stopped at some friends' houses there. And um, matter of fact, we're in their shirt today. Freedom Homestead. Freedom Homestead. <laughs> um, anyway, we stopped and saw them for uh, an afternoon and evening. We left the next day and headed down into Alabama. Had a great time on our trip. We were cruising around the armpit of Florida. And then COVID happened. And then COVID happened. <laughs> yeah. Our plans to travel for the next year and a half, two years, kind of went down the drain. Um, we ended up coming home in March uh, for a planned trip home. We left the camper in Florida, um, had full intentions of going back uh, and finishing our travels and, you know, exploring the U.S. like we planned. Um, but things were shutting down, stores were running out of food, and travel was being prohibited. Our campgrounds in the future were calling yeah. us and asking us where we were, were we still intending on right. coming, canceling out, basically. We had reservations through May, and multiple of the campgrounds had called us in advance of May saying, hey, if you've traveled, which we had, um, we had to cancel. So. Um, long story short, on our planned trip home, we turned around and drove back to Florida, grabbed the camper, and came back home. Marathon um, run. Marathon run, yeah, 48 hours, yep, I think. Yeah, had three, about four <laughs> hours of sleep the whole yeah, way down was, and back. It was rough, but then uh, we ended up, uh, we stayed at my sister's place in her backyard, camped there for, um, I think it was just literally a few weeks, uh, and we just, he was going stir crazy with no end in sight to COVID, them talking about 18 months of things being this way, which here we are six months later and we're still dealing with it. So yeah. I think we made the right decision. Yeah, our, our goal was to eventually maybe make it to Michigan's Upper Peninsula to find a place up there. We both love the cooler weather. Mm -hmm. um, granted, I think we, again, made the right decision doing what we did because uh, our grandbabies are here and they're, right. they're tough to be away from. Our kids are kind of tough to be away from too. <laughs> we love them. We miss our mom and dad when we're gone too. But, yeah. But other than that, um, like I said, one day I, I just told Heather, I said, look, I can't do this anymore. I love your sister, I love your brother-in-law, but we let's, gotta go. We he gotta said, find let's a buy place a house. to live. I need something to do. So we started looking. Um, I think that, was a, that Sunday was a Sunday that we decided. And I said, well, let's just look. Let's expand our search to this area where we were. We were in uh, Jackson County at the time at my sister's in Northwest Jackson area and, Michigan. and Michigan and uh, I started looking um, within probably like a 20-30 mile radius of there um, and we ended up in North Hillsdale County. Um, we found a house that we just fell in love with. It's a 1980 school or 1990 school 1890. house. 1890 schoolhouse and uh, it has a lot of history, it has a bell tower. Um, it's really cool. Um, there was definitely some work that needed to be done. The previous owner had done a ton of work, um, but I think it was just her and it just became too much. So she was ready to sell and move south. Um, and we actually called, we found the house that same Sunday that he decided. And uh, I, we hadn't even been pre-qualified or anything. So I was literally called Quicken Loans or that day and got pre-qualified just so we could go look at it. And uh, I think we put an offer that night. You wanna go get that? I don't care okay. who's calling me. Um, Plus it's one of you guys. <laughs> so then we put an offer on the house that night. Uh, we got to come look at it. We, the realtor was unable to show it to us. Um, but she called the seller, and the seller uh, was more than willing to show it to us. Uh, hi, Abby, if you're watching. Yeah. Um, thank you for that. Uh, anyway, so um, so we bought it. Uh, it took us, we, that was the end of March, and we moved in May 14th. So it was just about six weeks. Yeah. Um, and uh, surprisingly, with COVID and everything being shut down, things moved pretty quickly. Um, there wasn't really too much of a delay. Uh, the biggest thing was waiting for the closing company to have an opening. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but so we moved in mid-May. Um, we've done a lot of 
work as far as uh, remodeling in that uh, in the meantime, um, which we'll show you some of that. You can see the kitchen behind us and uh, we'll throw up some before and afters and do a tour a little bit as well. Um, yep. but, <laughs> but the main thing is we just wanted to say that um, I know we didn't have huge videos out there, but we are going to try to put some weekly videos out. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be every day type thing because Heather still works a full-time job and granted I am retired, but I don't know how to do the computer <laughs> side of it. So I'm just the guy in front of the camera all the time, as you know, but we're going to try to get some videos out just mainly on our, you know, our daily life, some of the projects we're doing, um, things with our grandkids and you know, the garden's all done, cannon's all done. I got, I've got some things videoed that we'll get out there to, to show you guys to just to show you kind of what we did. And, and again, I'm really excited to show you my, um, I've been watching everybody's pantry tours pre and during and after canning season. So I'm gonna show you ours. And we have some video of yeah, your we, before yeah. and, and some photos of your midway. Yeah, and, and, and some projects during. So yeah. um, just pay attention to those and uh, look for them to come here in the near future. And uh, I do Marco Polo with um, several guys that are in the homesteading community. And um, they all kind of said, John, these things you're doing on Marco Polo, just turn them <laughs> into a video and get doing videos again. So we bought a new tripod and um, way better than our last tripod. Our, our last one was junk. I think it worked like twice and it broke. Yeah, it was, but, it was um, cheap. <laughs> yeah, but we've got a nice one now. I'm, um, I'm not sure that we're really ready for big cameras or anything like that yet. Um, we're still, you know, doing it on our phone. We couldn't work them anyway. So. I would have a, I'm just to get it from here to my hands is. He has to record these videos while I'm working, and then I go back and edit all yeah. the stuff that I'm like, why did you say that? Yeah, but 56, and my mouth still works quicker than my brain. I'm getting better, but anyway, yeah. um, again, we're back, um, and I think from here we'll just uh, we'll say see you later. Yeah. And um, like shares. Follow. Like, share, and subscribe, and follow, oh, yeah. and all that other stuff. <laughs> yep. And um, it's like I always say, at the Hodgepodge Homestead, we'd love for you guys to watch our videos. We'll end it there. See you. <laughs> Bye.